Yes, yes. First of, first of all, I'm great. Uh, first of all, huge condolences for your loss. I think that's a matter of respect. Um, and then for the for the sport, um, many people have talked about Justin's wrestling um, being being a challenge for your wrestling. How do you see it? How good do you see his wrestling to be? I watch all his fights. I think he has <clears throat> good wrestling defense. Very good wrestling defense, you know. He know how to wrestle, you know, and uh, he wrestling almost his all his life. But I don't think he last like five six years. He use his wrestling, uh, my, uh, you know, it's like how I lose, how I use because I always use my wrestling in training, inside the cage because, you know, wrestling and grow and uh, top control. Uh, this is what make me champion, you know, and uh, I don't think I don't think last couple of years he become very good wrestler. He have base what he have like when he was kid, but right now it's like everything is changed. And uh, of course he know how to defend uh, uh, if someone try to take him down. But uh, we don't, and uh, we all know about his condition too, you know. If I'm gonna attack him first two round and third round, I think he's gonna finish because he don't have good condition. Have you been impressed with his performance against Tony Ferguson? Since uh, we all know you got huge respect for Tony and for his skills, um, were you impressed by what what Justin did yeah. to Tony? Yes, I was. Uh, he, he, you know, of course impressed. You know, it was great performance. From Justin Gage, you know, you know he beat very tough opponent. You know he show he can fight five round, but anyways he fight only stand up, you know, and uh, they fight like twenty five minutes. They don't wrestle, they don't attack each other like in a single leg, double leg, you know. It was like only striking match, kickboxing match, you know. But with me, it's going to be completely different. He have to worry about takedown. He have to worry about boxing. He have to worry about kicking. He have to worry about grappling. You know, he have to worry about MMA. This is not striking game. You know, and uh, he have to worry about conditioning. He have to worry about my pressure. You know, I'm gonna give him so much, and uh, he have to be ready. Talking about pressure, I mean, of course, distance and balance is always important in MMA. But um, considering his striking, your uh, your wrestling, your grappling, um, will take will will keeping the distance or controlling the distance be even more important in this fight? Mm, I don't think I don't think only this fight. I think in every fight this is important. You know, distance, control. You know, like pressure. Everything is important in every, every single fight, you know. And for this fight, <clears throat> I think he tried to he tried to be away from me. He tried to be away from cage. And in my opinion, he gonna use uh, footwork and uh, and uh, and I think I think he tried to kill my legs too with his kick because he had very good kicks. And uh, I'm ready for everything, you know. You have talked about coaches earlier on, about his coach. Um, how do you think, um, is coaching even more important in this era we're living in right now without crowds? Uh, has, has coaching, coaching has always been important, but is it even more important right now to have a good coach who gives you like short, the right, yeah, uh, yeah the right sentences? <sighs> of course, coach is always important, you know. Because sometimes you think you do something enough, and or sometimes you think you you don't need to do this, you don't need to do that. You know, you need you 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 always need coach. You know, you know, and, uh, discipline, everything. You know, like like Justin Gage, a very good coach, my opinion. But I don't know this guy. I think I meet him once or twice, but. Uh, when I see how how he cornered him, uh, what advice he gave him, I think he's a great coach. He has very good IQ. You know, 
why I talk about IQ because MMA MMA is not only like about conditioning, wrestling, striking, or your spirit. MMA about your mind too, you know. And uh, this guy, this guy, you know, he have very good mind. His coach.